social media is not real like if the most somebody's gonna do is not like the video let's be for real like the having like-minded friends is so freaking important this is not me telling y'all to cut off y'all friends that y'all don't relate to if they're ever confused about you and somebody else let them have the next person i take it farther than mexico the lips is gonna do for me every single time no misses Hey guys, it's your boy and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. So ignore how crazy I am looking right now, y'all. Like, as you guys can see by today's title, I'm doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. I've only done this like one other time, and I felt like it was much needed at that time. And like, it's just much needed right now. We're about to enter 2024, and I can't believe I'm saying 2024 because what? Like, who would have? That's just an insane number to me. Like, I don't know. But, yeah, it's going to be a new year. You know, I have a lot of new goals and stuff like that. But that's not really what I'm touching on today. Today, this video should feel like a FaceTime call. I'm going to be, like, chit-chatting with y'all while I do my makeup or my little one-two that I always say. So, this should be a good video. I have a few topics I want to touch on and a few things I want to say about some topics. So, I wrote a few stuff down in my notes. So, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, so I wrote down stuff like, like hobbies you know social media is not real things i learned in my 20s having hope and faith or dating with intention all of that stuff so just stay tuned and watch the full video to see exactly what i talk about because i got some things to say i got some things to say and i love these type of videos because it allows you guys to get to know me on like a deeper level i know i rarely ever get deep in my channel but as i always say i want that community and i want that interaction in my comments and stuff like that even though you guys did not interact with me in my last chit chat get ready with me it's okay it's okay i know you guys are always watching and that's all i really ask for for real so we're gonna get into it and i'm gonna do my little makeup or whatever so let me put this hair up a little tiny bit because it needs to be done but as i said i'm gonna be doing all of that in this video y'all so bear with me while i look a little crazy it's okay not for long <laughs> not for long but i miss you guys so much i feel like i haven't talked to y'all in a while but like let me dive into this because i know me and i know i could talk all day so are oh, y'all ready for this let's get into it so when i'm doing like my little one two makeup y'all i really just start off with my eyebrows first because that is like the main thing for me and it takes longer and i never know how they're gonna turn out so like i like to get that out the way Hopefully it turns out good today because you got to catch me on a good day with them, okay? So one of the things I have written down is social media isn't real. And let's really get into it because I do YouTube and I know like people see me doing YouTube and they think like, okay, like girl, it's so easy. Like if you could do YouTube, you could do anything else on other platforms. And it's just like, mm, it took me a lot to do YouTube. Like it took me a lot to really put myself out there. Like, I be critiquing my videos like so much like if you know you know i've been really like trying to post my content on like tiktok and stuff and don't get me wrong i have been doing that i literally just posted a video like less than an hour ago i have been trying to do that but it's like i just need to get it out of my head like i've been thinking about it way too much like what happened to the days when social media was just for fun like it was just for fun and you never cared what you posted. Like, I remember, like, back in the day in, like, middle school and stuff when I was on Facebook. When I tell you, I used to post statuses, like, it was, it was, they was paying me to post some statuses. I used to post, like, the most random things ever and I never cared who viewed it. I never cared who watched it. I never cared who liked it. Comment. I honestly miss when social media was fun. Like, I miss when it was fun and judgment-free and nobody really cared. Like, but now... Since so much people are doing like social media and content creating, it makes you really look at your content differently. It makes you really like analyze things before you post it. Like I miss the days when I, I didn't care about what I posted and I just posted it because I wanted to. Like I miss those times, man. But we're living in a time where literally everybody and their mother is doing content creating and... I'm not mad at it. I mean, like, I'm doing it. Like, chase that bag. Do whatever makes you happy. But it makes it so much harder. But it's one of those things where you really have to just face your fears. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, that is my biggest thing. Like, I just need to put yourself out there. Just know that social media is not real. Like, it's not real. These people do not know you in real life. Even if they did know you in real life, like, what are they going to do? Like, like, the most somebody's going to do is not like the video. 
let's be for real like the most they're gonna do is not like the video but i just hate this new tiktok update because it lets you see who views your video and it's like it's a little bit nerve-wracking like i don't need to see like everybody who viewed the video like let me just post a video in peace i'm already overthinking i don't need all of that extra stuff feel me like please but yeah i feel like for 2024 i'm definitely gonna just get out of my head about it and just get back in the mindset that social media is not real like it's quite literally not real post what you gotta post don't look at the likes don't look at the views and all of that but these platforms just make it so much harder to not check those when all they do is update you about it like every minute tiktok is saying like check your viewers this person has viewed your profile in the last 10 days like i don't care like <laughs> i don't care i'm used to posting my content on like youtube already because like that's already what i've been doing i kind of like already have my routine like i'm already established with that so it's much easier for to just post it but when you're trying to grow on certain platforms and you don't have that following yet like I don't need all that extra stuff. You feel me? Like, I don't need you to tell me, like, somebody's viewed my profile, who's, how much viewers I got on this. Like, just let me do my thing. Please. <laughs> but social media is always going to be social media, honestly. So, it's not much. I could talk about this topic all day long, but it's really just you have to want to make that change, you know? Other thing I wanted to touch on was having like-minded friends. Like, as I get older, it's kind of one of the things, like, I learn. I'm learning in my 20s, like... Having like-minded friends is so freaking important. And when I say like-minded, I mean like people that share the same values, the same goals as you. Like the people that want the same things you want. Like it's so freaking important and have the same mindset. Just why I get why people always say surround yourself with people who are similar to you. Like in terms of goals and stuff you want to do with your life, want to accomplish, like, because that will always push it. If you're surrounded by people who don't have the same dreams as you, like, it makes it so much harder. Don't get me wrong. It's good to have friends in all different areas. And you should never just want to be friends with somebody because of what y'all have in common. Like, it should be so much more than that. But when you have that, I promise it really does something for real like i find myself like wanting to talk to people about certain things and it's just like i can't because you don't get it you don't relate to me like you know what i mean like i like having people in my circle that i can relate to if that makes sense like if i can't relate to you it makes it so much harder for me to confide in you about certain things because i'm just like they don't get it like they don't get it like they just don't get it and that's it like even when i want to talk about like my goals and stuff like it's so hard to talk about your goals with somebody who just can't relate like they don't understand where you're coming from compared to if i was telling somebody about my goals that share the same goals as me like at least that would make me feel like so much better about telling you because i know like the advice you offer me is something like you can relate to you know like i just like having relatable people around me like that's something I'm just learning. Don't get me wrong, y'all. This is not me telling y'all to cut off y'all friends that y'all don't relate to. If you don't get what I'm saying, like you don't get where I'm coming from, you've never been in that position. It's hard for me to get and seek advice from you. Like, which is why I kind of like talking to older people. Like, not that we're similar, but the fact that they're experienced. They're really experienced and you can learn so much more from them. Like, it makes me really wish that like, I had more like older people in my life. And I mean like older people, like older people, like all the people in your life that really just tell you what it is and just tells you stuff about life like i've been meeting like the most random people ever sometimes like i remember this time i went to the hospital for an appointment and i met this like old lady and when i tell you we became like super cool like we and she just started telling me advice all for it it was it made me wish like i had a notebook just writing it down because i already know she's much older i already know these are things that i'm gonna later on go through in life or i'm gonna need this advice later on so i really be wishing i could soak the whole thing in for real but yeah i love all the people they're gonna tell you they're gonna tell you what it is like you don't gotta listen but they're gonna tell you what it is and i love that so much I can't talk too much when I'm doing this part, y'all, because this part be the hardest. But every day, I'm just trying to find ways to become a better version of myself. And I like to be around people who are on that same vibe, like that same wavelength. Like, if you're not trying to find ways to better yourself, like if you're just okay with being stuck in the same like reality you're in, then okay, I'm good on that. But I feel like we've been talking about some serious stuff, y'all. So let me just dial that back down to, like, what am I watching right now? Like, let's talk about TV shows. Right now, I am watching Love Island. Yeah, and I'm at that stage in the show where, like, these people are actually getting on my nerves. 
like i'm at that stage where you know like that stage in a movie or a show where like it just gets played out like it just needs to end but they're just dragging it on that's literally the part i'm at right now why are y'all dragging this on like <laughs> honestly like these people are going in circles at this point like they're just dating anybody just to date anybody like they're just talking to everybody like you know like they're just talking to what's left at this point like honestly and it's so freaking annoying like i don't know like you literally get into like five relationships in that show and then at the end of the day you speak to none of them like what that show really do test your emotions and i love watching it but I could never be them. And when I tell you, they be switching beds quick. They be out of there. Like, imagine cuddling with somebody today, and then tomorrow they're cuddling with somebody else and you're in the bed by yourself. But then again, they had to know what they signed up for, y'all. Like, they're going on Love Island. Like, it's a lot of people that look good on there. Like, everybody look good on there. I'm not going to lie. It's like they find, like, the most perfect people in the world to put it on there. Like, they have the perfect body, perfect face. Like, almost little to no flaws, physical-wise. Like, what? They be finding the best people to put on that show. I'm like, it's child, but it's dragged on. This right now, I think I'm on season... There, I think Love Island only has two seasons or three. Am I bugging? Three or two. I'm on the last season, the latest one that just came out right now. And it's going. I'm honestly just waiting for it to end at this point. As I said, they're going around in circles. Corey is talking to Olivia. And it's just like they are the two in the villa that just been passing around a lot. Like, they don't have nobody to talk to. So it's just obviously y'all gonna talk to each other like you know y'all the only two left that's not really like coupled up like that and nobody like y'all so of course y'all gonna turn to each other like that's what i mean like going in circles but that is what i'm watching right now it's almost finished we're just waiting to see like what the public votes who's number one who win the money and who loses like i can't wait until it's finished so i could go look on all their social media like that's what i be trying my hardest not to do whenever i'm watching any reality show or anything like that like i be trying so hard not to go on instagram and go search their name up to see what they look like now what they doing like what's he what y'all up to after the show i want to know that right now like <laughs> I literally want to know so much. Like, the minute, like, this girl named Cashier, the minute she left, I automatically went on her social media because I wanted to see. Y'all sure y'all want to live in New York? I don't think so. They be doing the most outside, but... Yeah, I went on her social media because I wanted to see if she was still with Cinco. And I'm like, girl, she was. She brought in another guy into the villa because Cinco couldn't decide between her and somebody else, which, which is real because if somebody is debating between you and somebody else they need to just choose the other person yes she liked him but like he could not make up his mind for anything but but real if somebody have to pick between you or somebody else if they're ever confused about you and somebody else let them have the next person you could keep them like at that point i don't even want to talk to i don't even want to be with you i don't want to be with somebody who's ever confused when it comes to me baby your intentions everything better be real clear as day because that's what we ain't doing at all. Music wise, what am I listening to right now? What is on repeat? Drake, of course, because y'all know that is my favorite artist. Favorite male artist, at least. Y'all know Janae is worse. Ah, for me, female wise. But All the Dogs, Scary Hours by Drake. I'm listening to that right now. Like, that is on repeat. And I'm also listening to For All the Dogs. So it's the Scary Hours one, and then it's the For All the Dogs. So let me click on that. Rent was due. Right, was do. I want to go on the part. I don't want to get hop ready, so I want to go on the part that I, I actually like. The whole song is Tito. Like, I don't even want to skip it over. Really hate to call him Broski for the dirty work. I'd rather do it by myself. I love Another Late Night. This is underrated as well. And I hate to even call that as my Because I love that hoe. Don't even make no sense. Just another late night. Take it farther than Mexico. You still got niggas hard pressing you though. I know you shawty a 10, but not the messy. Shawty a 10, but not the messy. He was talking about me. Like, not all the extra shit. I'm a 10. But like, not all the extra shit, you know? Like, yeah, he was talking about me. I give you my all if you're ready for it. Hop off the block if you're Jenny for me. And they send me naked pictures, just a small thing. Girl, give me some hair because I need it. And if I fuck with you, then after I might eat it. Beat it, nigga, beat it. What? Now I'm gonna go in with some blush. I just got this off Amazon and I honestly been meaning to buy a blush. 
I bought this drugstore one because I wanted to buy one from Sephora, but I wanted, it was a liquid and I really wanted like a powder like blush. So we will see, let me put this in like this cause I'm worried it's a little bit too pink for me. I'm worried it's gonna look better on somebody else and not me like with another complexion, you know? Let's see. Yeah, like you won't be able to see it on me for real. I don't like that. But I love blush. That's one of the best things about makeup to me. Like, that's my favorite part. Do y'all see it or it's just me? Like, I don't see anything. Like, it's almost like it's not there. I was thinking about putting on my lashes, yeah, but I think I'm just gonna put on like my mascara instead to stay on the natural side, you know? I want this be, not even be, I want this look to give really natural, clean. So I think I'm gonna just do my mascara. I'm gonna do some on the top and also on my bottom lashes. So hopefully it makes it pop a little more. I'm using the Isla. Hope I'm saying that right. Focus. Yeah, I'm using this. This is from Sephora. I got this and I also got the multi stick as well. So I got these from Sephora and this was a free birthday gift. Like Sephora, they used to give you like free birthday gifts if you sign up and it's your birthday and stuff, but they don't do that anymore. Not for complete free. Like you don't get it completely free anymore. Like you have to at least like buy something now. So glad I caught this while I could, you know, because. This one coming in the clutch. Like this is a part of like my everyday like routine, like face makeup routine, and I do this quite literally every day. So it's almost done because of how much I use it. But yeah, let's put that on right now, y'all. And the next thing I want to touch on is hobbies. Let's touch on hobbies. Let's get into that because I'm kind of like fake in that stage right now like I'm looking for new hobbies to try I want to try a lot of different hobbies right now I used to be big into dancing like in middle school like I used to take dance classes and stuff and that was something I was very passionate about but I'm kind of a little bit upset that I never pursued that and I left like middle school like it was just that was it from there like I've always continued dancing but that was it but when I say dancing y'all like it I did take like dance classes like in after school and stuff and that was so real to me. Like, I love that so much. Like, that was kind of low-key what I was known for in middle school. Like, I was always dancing. I was always doing something. And, yeah, I miss that stage in my life. Like, I miss being a kid. Like, I miss being a kid. I get older and everything is so much more deep now. Like, everything is so much more serious. Back then, I could literally just have hobbies. And I just had that to look forward to all the time. Like, I didn't have so much worries. But now, a child... I don't know. I feel like that is so important. It allows you to have some things to look forward to outside of work and outside of your regular life. When you have hobbies, like your life is so much more interesting. And I feel like it flows so much more easier. When you literally have nothing to do outside of work and school and stuff, that can be so draining mentally, like honestly. So I've been looking on YouTube and TikTok for a whole bunch of hobbies to see which one resonated with me, like which one spark my interest see what i want to do stuff and like i want to try a whole bunch of new stuff like this upcoming year and i want to try a lot of stuff alone as well now i'm gonna do my little combo y'all which is my fave here are how the lashes look i feel like my eyelashes they grow inwards now instead of outwards because i sleep with like the face thing on at night to cover my eyes like the extra light in the morning i can't i can't ever go back to that so i'm gonna leave it like this for right now i'm gonna apply the clear gloss like after i flat iron my hair then we're gonna change into a top to give the little like get ready with me vibe and to look more put together so right now i am gonna go flat iron my hair let's talk about your 20s while i flat iron my hair y'all your 20s is literally like one of the most like nerve-wracking years of your life ever and when i say nerve-wracking i mean like it's literally so much going on like you're constantly like questioning like i'm not on the right path like i'm not doing everything i'm supposed to do like i find myself questioning that so much these days like am i doing what's right like am i doing the right thing like what's what's going on like i'm always just confused like I'm so confused, but it's literally no right way to do this. Like, that's also what I think about when I'm stressing and stuff. There's no handbook on this. You just literally have to do what you think is best. And whatever that is, do it. Like, whatever you think is best for you, always do it. 
and whether it's gonna hurt somebody feelings or not do it and, like you're gonna get it right and you're gonna get it wrong y'all like but don't stay stagnant ever like don't stay in one position because you're scared to make the next move always make the next move even if you don't know what it's gonna look like make do something <laughs> But don't ever stay in the same position for too long. So I'm finished, y'all. And this is the final look. I feel like this is super cute. Like the pink top definitely added a little touch to it. And it just blends in with the whole theme, the whole vibe, the whole chit chat girl to get ready with me, you know? So I'm literally just obsessed with this whole look. The lips. Maybe the lips is going to do for me every single time. No misses. Like quite literally nothing. But here we go. I'm blending on my eyebrows just a little bit as well because I feel like, you know, why not? But here's the up close of my face. The lashes and everything. This no lashes look is eaten. I don't care what nobody say. But it's cute. It's a lot, but it's not as well. Like it's really natural. I love that so much. Mm, I'm feeling myself now. Yeah, I know I'm about to go make my 10,000 TikToks that I never post yeah and merry christmas and happy holidays you guys christmas is literally like three weeks away so i hope you guys enjoy it when it does come i hope y'all get what y'all want and i hope this is a good one for y'all make sure y'all spend a lot of time with your family as well for sure i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video